Hey, what's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, it has been a while since I've done a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial and I know you guys really, really like the Final Cut Pro 10 series of this channel. And I decided that I wanted to make more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, of course. But there is a problem because uh, I am going to be starting college this week, so the videos will be delayed a little bit, uh, depending on my schedule, of course. But whenever I post, I'll be sure to let you guys know on my Instagram and my Snapchat, of course. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, and uh, you guys can receive all the updates for my channel and stuff that's going around my life as well. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a LumaFade speed ramp in Font Cup Pro 10 without any plugins. So you don't have to use any plugins, of course. Now, depending on what you're working with in your video, on your project, whatever, such as, you know, color grading and color correcting and zooming in and stuff, of course, you guys will be using, you know, plugins most of the time for that anyways. But in this video, I'm not going to be focusing mostly on that. I've made many many other videos focusing on that type of stuff. This is a perfect Luma key fade or like a Luma fade and I did it all without using a Final Cut Pro 10 plugin and uh, it took me a while to actually learn this and practice it because it was it's a little bit tricky okay I'm not gonna lie it's a little bit tricky knowing where to place all of the keyframes and stuff like that but honestly it's not that hard and the speed ramp is right here I'm also gonna mute this so I don't bother you with the music but right here is the speed ramp where it's slow and then it starts fast again and then it suddenly goes to a luma fade now all of the music and the sound effect is gonna be linked down in the description so you guys can download it if you want I also added a letterbox now a lot of you guys ask me why do I not get the effects uh, or why do they move with the letterbox. The reason for that is because you want to make a compound clip of everything together. Right click, of course, you're going to right click and click on new compound clip. This will gather all of your videos together and then after you do that, it's going to go and put your videos into one like this and then you can go ahead and add your letterbox on top of your video and it will automatically apply to everything that's in your video in that project so right where he says ends this is where I actually wanted to start so right here in between the end and the uh-huh <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and slow that down so I'm gonna go on to the little timer icon there I'm gonna go on to the slow now I'm only gonna do 50% slow speed you're gonna notice some really choppy video depending if you film this in 60 frames 120 frames or 30 frames you want to adjust this no matter what so from here We're gonna go down to video quality and change that to optical flow So it's gonna look something like this looks absolutely beautiful and it suddenly goes back to normal speed and then from here I think right here is where I actually want it to start so go on to the effects browser go down to the king and then you have two different king uh, we have the keyer and then we have luma keyer we're not going to be working with the Luma here. She's moving a lot in the video and having to keyframe each of her movement is going to be a nightmare. So we're going to go with the here and we're going to drag that on our video. Now we're going to be working with the actual video we have here. And then we have like the New York City uh, drone here and then we have another one beneath it. So I also added a Mlut to this video as you can see. So let me go here. So this is what it looks like without it and this is with the Mlut. I made a video on that, check it out, link in the description, select the video that you're working with and then you're going to have a here. With this you want to have a place to start and end. First we want to go ahead and apply a key. So we're going to go to the refine key and we're going to go to edges or sample color. We're going to sample a color, in this case her dress. The reason we're doing this is because we want to actually sample only her and her white dress because it's a good contrast between her and everything else in the video. So I'm going to select part of the video here and you can already see something happening and that's totally fine. Around here, like maybe around here is perfect. All right guys, so once you have the fill hole right here adjusted, you guys can adjust that if you want. 
I like to get like a nice contrast in between her and the actual city behind it, assuming we have the video be uh, placed beneath it. Now we want to make sure that we have the invert option selected if we want her to actually be the main subject of the video. And then the fill hole, we're actually going to fill this up all the way to 10. So the mat tools, this is where we want to go ahead and change. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and just bring up the levels a lot. Okay. And you want to go ahead and adjust this as well. So we actually want to bring this up a little bit more. All right, guys. So once you have everything set and ready to go, we're going to go on to the mix. Now the mix is the most important part of the actual video. Of course, this is where we're going to go ahead and smoothly transition onto the New York City drone video. So to do this, it's very simple. Have the place where you want it to start. Once you have all of the settings adjusted, just like this. And from here, we're going to bring up the mix. We're going to bring that all the way to zero. Click on the plus icon here to add the first keyframe. And then I'm going to go ahead and just shrink this to fit the first video here. And I'm going to go onto the end of that clip and go a keyframe to the left. The reason we go a keyframe to the left is, to, is just to see what is visible in the screen right now. But uh, we're going to go all the way to mix all the way to one. All right. Now, I know it's going to be choppy once it ends here, and that's when we add the cross dissolve. So that's the reason I love about this is that everything is built into Final Cut Pro 10. You just have to be creative with how you use it. We're going to go to the transitions here, and we're going to go to the dissolves, and we're going to add the cross dissolve. So just drag that onto or in between these two videos. It is kind of graphic intensive, so it can be slow at times, but just shrink this down a little bit, and we, we are actually going to go ahead and just move the wish sound effect over here. Alright guys, so assuming you have followed the whole entire tutorial and you may or may not get it right the first time, but that's totally fine. I understand that it can be difficult at first. I know it was difficult for me, but if you guys did it the first time, leave that like button. That'd be awesome, guys. And uh, so this is what we should have once we finished. And, uh, and if it ends, can we be Uh, yeah, so if you guys are really wanting to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, just leave a comment and just leave your ideas. Please turn on the bell notification. That will let you guys know when I post videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Take care. And enjoy your day.